Okay, welcome back, Elon gang, Elon fam. So, let's get one thing straight here first. If you guys could, leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. Really helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. And it's like giving me a fist bump. lets me know that you guys would like to see more Elon. But anyway, getting into the video now. First things first. We did end up breaking. Um, accumulation, we're definitely leaning uh, away from that now. Uh, and you did end up waking into our box over here. You did uh, hit like a prior resistance area, essentially. Um, and while well, furthering from this is the other thing I want to like really point out with this this wick looks like super big and you would like think okay hey like we actually like we're trading down there so we're just on the daily time frame this is on the four hour time frame so you can see that was quick within there now we go to the hourly time frame super quick within there now let's go over into the 30 minute time frame quick five minute a little bit more but still like you're down there so just to show you guys how like uh volatile and like quick this move actually was um very very quick even on we're gonna go to even to the like down to the one minute chart you can see how like you didn't even close really closed at 1740 so you just barely closed into the yellow box that we had drawn um and yeah so as of right now I would imagine if you actually no, I would imagine you actually do end up coming back down though um, just like looking at this you're either going to like slingshot V shape up out of here or you're probably gonna come back down so as of right now we're gonna take it like step by step kind of so should you actually end up coming back down uh, or for uh, I guess should you end up coming back down and attempting like a higher low you would be looking really for my opinion really anywhere between 1673 and 1651 that would be higher low scenario now getting back into we're gonna go in hourly first i guess so we had this end up breaking so we kind of don't really need the rest of that stuff anymore and we can just pop those so, that being said, do we notice anything really peculiar with this structure, necessarily? Not exactly, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you could make an argument for a, like, wedge. But, um, oh, can I get it? Nope. Yeah, no, uh, that would be even hard to make in itself. So at least right now you, you don't have much of like a structure right here. Maybe if you wanted to make argument for wedge, you would have it like this. This would be a bit more believable. So let me where is this? Hold on. Hold the phone. So this would be your like argument for like a wedge, uh, rising wedge, at least since we have the chart inverted right now, falling wedge, whatever. Um, and I didn't want to do that. That's wonderful. All right. Anyway, so that would be your argument for that. Actually, can get rid of that. Um, but that would also consist of like you kind of need to like hold this now. Now, if you do actually end up coming back down to here, then well, obviously, uh, this kind of gets invalidated. But if you were curious roughly what this measure move would be, that would be, let's say, if you break out towards the upside, roughly right around here, that gets you up to about 21.05, uh, which would make sense where that's, you have like a higher volume area where you're trading. And then should you break this back down, let's put that roughly right around there, that actually puts you pretty much back at the low or maybe a little bit lower. But uh, if you're looking for that higher low, then obviously the box that we highlighted. So um, really, other than that, I guess we don't have too much else to go off of outside of we could go into the four hour and then start trying to like hunt over at previous price action. So roughly like around here, we did have our yellow box, which we went into um, and then oops. 
But I still do think, oops, I actually had to bring that over a little bit more. Uh, I still do think once this drop ends, that's going to be like the last drop on Elon. Um, 1647, actually. You know what I'll do is, we'll draw parallel, not parallel, uh, horizontal. We'll get it roughly like that. That we don't have to kind of go back and forth. So if we come all the way over here. So interestingly enough, from that one volume profile that you guys did end up seeing on the four hour time frame from all the way back when you did end up actually hitting the if i'm not mistaken yeah you did end up hitting the valley high on that so if you were to make another low the next area that you would actually would be looking for would be 1569 <laughs> nice or 1570 <laughs> um and yeah and then really following from there you could look for this other box that we had about 13 but the valley low on that it's actually at about 1229 um Otherwise, like I said, you potentially have like a wedge forming right here where you do get a pump back on up. And well, you kind of need to, like, uh, I won't even say you're necessarily like super bullish until you are able to break past this high with open enclosures, especially on the daily time frame. But um, as of right now, we don't necessarily have too much of a structure other than that wedge formation. Um, anything larger than that, you might be able to argue. A larger wedge like that but yeah so do with this information as you will none of this is financial advice and these are all just my thoughts and opinions you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos